Good evening and welcome to tonight's broadcast of the Aplac News. I'm your lead anchor, Greg Jefferson. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Fishers High School where reporter Harold Davis has the latest. I'm Harold Davis and you're taking a live look at Fishers High School where many students are struggling with a rhetorical term called anastrophe. Basically what anastrophe is is that it's when you switch up the conventional order of words in a sentence and a good example of anastrophe would be that instead of saying I'm going to the mall, I could say going to the mall I am and that would be a good use of anastrophe. Another example of anastrophe would be instead of saying you are not being truthful, you could say, being truthful, you are not. There are many examples of an astrophe being used in the media, but there are two specific examples that I'd like to look at. The first example comes from Yoda, a character from Star Wars, who is famous for his use of an astrophe, and here's a clip. An astrophe is used multiple times by Yoda throughout that clip. A couple examples were when he said, Hear you nothing that I say, and then also when he said, Try not, do. Instead of saying, Hear you nothing that I say, Yoda could have said, Do not hear anything that I say, and then instead of saying, Try not, do, he could have just said, don't try it, do it. Second example of an astrophe being used in media that I'd like to take a look at comes from a Ham's beer commercial from 1979 called Beaver Trouble. Here's the clip. An astrophe was used in the Hams beer commercial when they said Hams the beer refreshing instead of saying Hams the refreshing beer. Now I'd like to send it back to the main anchor, Greg Jefferson. Thanks for all the great information and wonderful examples, Harold. There are numerous quotes throughout the glass castle in which just by changing a couple of words you could turn into great examples of an astrophe. On page 172, Jeanette says, Brian and I became expert foragers. You could turn that into a great example of an astrophe just by saying, Experts at foraging, Brian and I became. On page 153, Jeanette says, The woman who had lived there before us left behind an, an old-fashioned sewing machine that you operated with a foot treadle. You turn that quote into an example of an astrophe simply by saying that, an old-fashioned sewing machine that you operated with a foot treadle was left behind by the woman that had lived there before us. Hearing all that information and seeing all those great examples, we now hope that you have a further understanding on what exactly an astrophe is and how to use it. For everyone here at the Applock News Channel, I'm Greg Jefferson saying good night.